Good evening, uh, YouTube. This is Johnny. It's a Sunday night here in Southwest Michigan. It is 6.31 in the evening. It is December the 9th, 2018. And I'm going to make a video because I have, uh, I mentioned that I volunteered last Friday at the Book Nook, the library used bookstore just five minutes from where we live. And I wanted to show the books that I got at the Book Nook Friday. And these are all have been taken out of circulation in our local library. And uh, I bought them for, I think, $11 for these books. First of all, I've been reading a book I got today. Um, around 12.30, my wife had to go pick up some pictures at, Wal at Walmart. And I went up the street, there's Goodwill uh, thrift store, and I bought some books. And one of the books I bought used today, In the Absence of the Sacred, The Failure of Technology and the Survival of the Indian Nations by Jerry Mander. And uh, he wrote a book called Four Arguments for the Elimination of Television. So I've been reading this uh, all afternoon. And this morning I read for devotions, following the footsteps of the invisible, the complete works of Diakis of Philkeia, uh, introduction, translation, and notes by Cliff er, Manager, Manager. So I read this this morning. And when I closed my diary today, I ended on page 1050 for the year 2018. Tomorrow is a Monday. I once again volunteer at the Book Nook from 10 in the morning to 1 in the afternoon tomorrow. Tomorrow is the, the 10th of December 2018. And I'll be on page 1051. So Friday, last Friday, I got these books. I got The American Jezebel, The Uncommon Life of Anne Hutchinson, The Woman Who Defied the Puritans. This is uh, New England Puritanism, colonial time, and Hutchinson, I can't remember what years she lived, but it was uh, around the 1630s in Massachusetts. And then I bought a biography on Audubon, you know, Audubon the bird, you know, he did all those uh, famous paintings of birds. Uh, this is Audubon, Life and Art in the American Wilderness by Shirley Stransinski. I got two, bio, uh, two biographies on Audubon, uh, Under a Wild Sky, James, John James Audubon and the Making of the Birds of America. I really got into Audubon, uh, a while back, I read this fantastic biography. I think it was by Richard. Oh, I can't remember his name. Anyway, I read this, and ever since then, I've been kind of fascinated with the life of Jane, John James Audubon and the making of the bird, making of the birds of America. So I got two. But this the, under the wild sky, John James Audubon, the making of the birds of America, is by William Soldier. And then I got uh, this, this is Ambrose uh, per, Paris, he, the sole survivor of bits of an autobiography. He was an American journalist. He wrote a very famous book called The Dictionary of the Devil. I think that's what it was called. The Devil's Dictionary, which I have downstairs. Uh, he wrote short stories. In 1913, he disappeared into the war-torn Mexico, and it's believed to have died there. He lived from 1842 to 1914. We don't know. Like I said, he he went into war-torn Mexico and, and was never heard of again. So we expect that he died there. So these are like his uh, his writings, autobiographical things. I first heard about him when I was reading The Life of Mark Twain. He was friends with Samuel Clemens. 
This is the famous Renaissance sculptor, painter, Bernini, his life in his Rome by Franco Mormendo. And this is uh, the biography of uh, Ur Ur Urkine Codwell, The Journey from Tobacco Road. He wrote a very famous American novel called Tobacco Road, which I read many years ago, and I, I read reread it uh, parts of it last year or two years ago. This is by Dan B. Miller, Erskine Codwell, The Journey from Tobacco Road, and these are on Tocqueville, Discovery of America by Leo Darmish. He wrote that very famous book uh, of early American uh, democracy in America. <coughs> I also got another Tocqueville book, uh, it, uh, Alex Tocqueville and Gustave de Bermont in America, The Friendship and Their Travels. Uh, I got this for $4. Uh, it's, it has all kinds of things in here, you know. Their travels, they took sketches and they took notes and they did drawings of the birds that they saw in their travels and people that they saw. This is like the complete un parts of the democracy of America. So I got that. This is by edited by Oliver Zuntz and translated by author Goldhammer. So I got that. Two books on Toadfell. So, he's always something I would I always wanted to get into is reading that democracy in America. It's one of the things on my to be read pile. So those are the things I got at the book nook last Friday. I don't know what I'm gonna get tomorrow. I have a book set aside at the book nook tomorrow. Some little uh, memoir about a fellow who goes to Mexico during the '80s or something about. The, the city life of Mexico City, something like that. I'm supposed to get tomorrow. So these are the used books I got at the Book Nook last Friday. Got those all for eleven dollars. You know. Now the thing is, will I ever get around to reading them? <laughs> I do want to read um, Toldfield. I said, Democracy in America. But we'll get around to it someday. Today, um, like I said, you know, I just basically read in the absence of the sacred failure of technology and the survival of the Indian nations by Jerry Mander. And I, I, um, I watched some professional football. My wife and I, after we were coming home from doing errands and going to the thrift store, we stopped at. Emily and Caleb's down the street, our oldest son and his family, and spent an hour there playing with Josie Joy and little Cora. And came home and I read and watched football. Carol took a long nap. She went to church tonight and should be home pretty soon. And then uh, it's a new week. Existence keeps flowing by. So I hope you had a good weekend and I don't really have anything else to say. I'm just, um, I just keep trucking on. So until next time, bye.